Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to another one of my videos early in the morning. So I thought, you know what, man, I just make a different kind of tea. You know, we're going to use some mint today. We're going to use some lime. And of course, you know what, I'm also going to put some sugar in. But in the meantime, we're also going to look at some stuff coming from, uh, coming from Twitter. Like, for example, here, you know what I mean? You know, we're all kind of bored right now. So you got like Ricky Hatton doing what British people usually do, which is Ricky Hatton Downs horrifying bina colada cocktail to get around lack of booze during coronavirus self-isolation so you drink them so you make a a fucking cocktail with a sausage and beans inside fucking disgusting yo but you know it is what it is anyway let's start let's get it let's get this ball rolling man anyway uh, what else can we find yeah I'm, I'm gonna make a video and talk about something else so you can catch that uh, talk, of course, I'm going to talk about something else. It's going to get a bit loud with this. Yeah, but what I'm going to do is like I'm going to talk about uh, a situation with a boxer and the organization that thoroughly, profoundly, and unwaveringly support Deontay Wilder. You know, you might have been noticing some of that. That guy's been clapping back. It's interesting to see what's been going on on social media. You know what I mean? It's been interesting to see what's been going on on social media, so, you know. Anyway, another story from The Sun. This, uh, this, this goes into the whole thing with Floyd Mayweather, doesn't it, right? Oh, yeah. I think because, uh, cause what's his name, bodied up? Tyson bodied up. So Floyd Mayweather is a long way off boxing's longest undefeated streaks. You know what, man? This conversation that many boxing fans have had. And uh, to be honest, I think all of us are kind of tired of it. The longest undefeated runs, Floyd Mayweather, 49 and 0. He's 50 and 0 now, so he deliberately took off the Rocky Marciano, 49 and 0. I think this is kind of dated. Ricardo Lopez, 51 and 1. Jimmy Barry, alright. Anyway, yeah, we can find some new people in here. Things getting hot, 94, 95. Willie Pep, Parker McFarland, 70 and 5. Lucas Chavez, 89 and 1. Jimmy Wild, 93 and 1. Alright, Jimmy Wild, I didn't know. Alright, it is what it is, but that's just the way it works. That's just the way it works, man. Anyway, let's get this shit done. Let's take some mints first. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, right, I've got to wash this thing because I'm not really too, I'm not too uh, confident. One second. Let's give it. I'm gonna run it thoroughly underneath the tap. Yep. So yeah, so I'm not too confident in where I bought it from, even though you know it is what it is. You're supposed to wash this stuff anyway. So yeah, and then also try and get some stalks in. You know, what I mean, not just leaves all the time. Stalks. Kinda good. Get rid of all the old shit. So uh, what I mean is like not long stuff, but just around this size here. That's good. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to bruise the mint up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bruise the mint up. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to get the perfect angle sometimes when you do these things. Yeah. So uh, let's look for another story. I think I can find, I'm also, you see, multitasking here, multitasking, multitasking, not a lot of stuff going on, stories about Corona, um, quick flash down, Rocky Balboa, a lot of people talking about what they're binge watching, I binge watched the whole of uh, that Star Trek spin-off, what was it, the Star Trek spin-off, Picard, we're going to use this one here, you know what I mean? I use that one. Uh, all right. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to mash this thing, or do I want to? Because you see, there's two ways of doing this. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Look. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. The I'm gonna do it just this way. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do it this way. So, you take a fork. You take a fork. You stick it in. Because you know that's for people who don't have this type of muddler it just makes your life a lot easier okay so you so you take a fork forgive me 
take a fork, stick it in like that. So that's gonna loosen it all up. You now prior, you can see the juice is already slipping out. So once you do that, if I twist it, don't wanna make a mess, then yeah, get all that like that. I can leave the hot water for a minute because it's cooling down right now. I can see, if we look at the temperature, it's 97. It was a, it already been 100, so it's cooling down right now, yeah? All right. The other way to do it, if I was gonna, what I'm trying to say is like, if I was using a modeler, let's just do that, yeah? is that I would throw it in, and then I would model, model it in like that, as you can see. So, I don't wanna go too crazy, and I mean, don't want to go too crazy. So after I've done that, then I have to take a bit of sugar, a dash of sugar. You can see the sugar there. Uh, liquid sugar, really. Let it slide all the way down. That means I'm going to have to take the hot water. When I pour the hot water, I can get the hot water taken down a bit. All right. So now, let's look for another story while we pour the hot water on top of here and maybe what I should do maybe what I should do is cover it up so we're gonna cover it up for a minute all right so while we covered it up we can look at some other shit so what we got what's it oh yeah that's uh Shannon Briggs versus Lennox Lewis, right? And Shannon Briggs was going crazy before he got knocked out. He was going crazy in that fight a little bit, man. Got a bit crazy, man. I don't really expect, pay too much attention to that. Yeah. What else have we got? Donald Trump demonstrates how to spread coronavirus. Yeah, this was crazy. Because Donald Trump, right, signing a bill, and he had just about, he had a whole bunch of people around him. Look at this shit. This is crazy, man. Look, this is the example is setting. All these white guys are so arrogant. You know what I mean? And then he patronizes the woman. Look at that. That's so stupid. So stupid. They're supposed to be six feet apart from each other. Look at this shit. It's very, very strange, this guy. Anyway, you know what? It is what it is, though. They like him like that, you know? I'm just throwing a little bit of criticism out there. No big deal. No big deal. Apparently, his, uh, what you call it, approval ratings went up. Not much to do with boxing right now, is there? Can't really see much, man. Um, just We just saw that, right? So we're leaving this for a second. I uh, heard about that. Mm. Heavyweight division is on fire. Not at the moment. Carlos Takam, I forgot his name when I was talking on another video recently. Who's this guy here? Who's this guy? Don't even know who he is. First of all, who is he? Who is you? Uh, Papin, that's the guy who got knocked out by Manucci or Manucci or whatever his name is, the one that usually beats up these Eastern Europeans, the South African guy, I believe. I think he's in the cruiserweight division, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I mean? He's working hard trying to get back. That's a heavy hammer, though. I should get my hammer out today, too. Huh? Get my hammer out. Anyway, that being said, let's get to this. So this should be done right now and now uh, should be parfait yep and then I can just drop this in. it's gonna weld turn it and then put that inside there and there you have it and then I'm gonna drink that all right thank you very much for watching Nine minutes, man. Just to make a mint tea. See you guys later, yo. Bye.